Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem two in chapter thirty. Chapter thirty is about inductance, electromagnetic oscillations, and AC circuits. So there we can see we need to determine the inductance per unit length, right? And so about two solenoids, and then the given quantity is about R one and R two, and then the N one and N two. So now we can see we can write down the equations for inductance there, right? So in this equation, you can see we have n two. The phi two one is the magnetic flux and I one. There magnetic flux we can write is the B times A, right? B times A. B is from the first solenoid magnetic field is from first solenoid. Solenoid mu naught n one i one. A is a cross sectional areas on the second solenoid r two. It is this r two is smaller than r one, right? So we write as pi r two squared. Now we can replace the phi two one as b and a. The next one is how can we write n two? N two is how many turns for this uh. Uh, how many turns for this solenoid, right? And then we know this is a turns per unit length. So this one, so n two times l is the smaller n two times l is capital n two, right? Now you can see we input b and a inside, right? We input b and a inside, b and a inside look like there, and then this is b, this is a, and then we need to replace n two as n two l, right? Now you can see I and I can cancel. Mm -hmm. So this uh, equation can be write in this way. Now we want to find is the uh, inductance per unit length. So we use m divided by l. So we get the equation there. Thank you.